It's been a hands-on project, with the young people exploring different concepts as part of the initiative. The main theme has been that of human rights, with the children interpreting ideas of hope and freedom. The idea of setting up a summer club was just brilliant, so I could work with children. We, as a group, could come up with some beautiful imagery and beautiful ideas. And um, from those ideas, the idea is that you know people like Rohan and staff, they, they, they make this, this simple but meaningful set of work which will represent our boat called Hope. And how have the children themselves actually taken to the concept when we think of young minds? I imagine a lot of uh, varied ideas and responses here. We've been trying this morning to get quotes from everybody um, and um, so when I think it's like hope, uh, I, uh, one girl said I hope that my best friend and I are best friends forever and that's such a positive empathetic way of seeing the world and that's what this whole workshop is about, They're about empathising with people's views and empathising with the, with the nature of the entire thing. Sketching, driftwood boat sculptures and wire creations are just some of the techniques used to generate simple and meaningful works, with some inspiration too from established local artists. We've got Jessica Darch here who works with Perspex and she's been helping me all week and um, so today we're doing a Perspex we're doing a Perspex um, session and lots of printmaking and sort of layering and everything we've tried, everybody's responded to. I well, my favourite part is probably the wire drawing because it's really creative and you can turn it any way you want. Yeah. And so. my favourite part has been the boat building because it's, it's basically helps me show my inner self. I'm, I'm allowed to just clear my head and create something. I'm starting my GCSEs in September. But I, I like sketching with the oil pastels in the museum where we got to see all the skulls and everything. And when we've been painting our perspex and the lighthouse. We can connect them like this. Because the teacher cut them so we can like put them together. And then we, we just stack lots of pieces on top of each other to make it like this. And I got, I got a piece like a star. So is this connection to represent maybe the connection of you two as brothers, as twins? Yes, yes. Yeah. And then, so when we put it together, we like, uh, it's like the sea. So it's like the boats coming in to the marina. Uh, for wire. And I made a, a cat because I have a pet cat at all. Eleanor hopes to start on the mural itself in October, but how will this material make it into the finished piece? I'm photographing the work and then I'm literally going to do it sort of trompe l'oeil style, so I'll literally do it as if I'm painting a sculpture, like a little still life I will paint onto the wall. I trained actually with Jessica in my 20s as a muralist and then um, built into illustration after that. The collaboration will result in a mini book for the participants. An exhibition opened at the John McIntosh Hall this evening to celebrate the children's achievements and show off the work produced. This will be open until the end of the week.